Astronaut training is the most critical part of a New Shepard mission. And if you've ever wondered what it's like for our crew, come with me behind the scenes to the training center. The astronaut training center is usually reserved for crew, but today you're getting a peek inside to learn more about New Shepard's mission profile. Once you walk through the door, you know you're here to train. A bit of a contrast from Astronaut Village. Let's start with what training is really like. The purpose of our training is to get our crew comfortable with everything they're going to experience. The only thing that will be a surprise is the acceleration and the views. We spend a third of our training performing mission simulations, a third in the classroom setting learning the fundamentals, and a third going through the movements on launch day. Now let's look around Astronaut Training Center. You'll see here on the wall the entire mission profile of a New Shepard flight. The mission follows the same path Alan Shepard, the first American in space, took when he flew over the Kármán line back in 1961. Here is the training capsule. This is an exact replica of the actual capsules our astronauts will fly in on launch day. It's named RTS Tortoise, or Torty for short. Its namesake represents the tortoise on Blue's coat of arms. Everything is exactly sized the same as our capsule built for flight. It's the same hardware, screens, seats, handhold, everything. The crew will perform countless mission simulations inside the training capsule and hear all the noises that they will hear as they ascend towards space and descend gently back to Earth. As I mentioned earlier, the purpose of training is to ensure everyone is as prepared as possible on launch day. So everything is just second nature and they can spend their time gazing out those big windows amongst the largest ever flown in space. It's time to train. To book your seat, go to blueorigin.com.